Space Goddess Snacky Juia here. I'm here to talk to you today about bandoliers and how I make my bandolier. Uh, bandoliers are the signature throw for Chewbacca's um, and along with the blocks that go with them, they're kind of our most awesome thing we do, I think. Um, so to get started, there are a couple supplies that you need. Um, traditionally, you use a jute webbing um, or upholstery strapping. You can get this in bulk in a big roll, um, or you can also get it uh, at the fabric store by the yard if you just wanted to make like one for yourself versus making a bunch as throws. Um, this is like very sturdy and it holds up the weight of a lot of blocks. Um, if you're gonna use any other materials, um, this ribbon is actually pretty sturdy, so this would probably work. But if you're looking at some more lighter weight ribbons, um, it probably won't work as well because you really want something that's gonna hold up to the weight of a bunch of blocks. Um, then you need some Velcro. For Velcro, when you're making a bandolier, you want the soft side to go with the soft of the ban bandolier. Um, when you're making blocks, blocks get the hard on hard, soft on soft. That's kind of how you remember where things should go. Um, and when you're getting Velcro, if you plan on making a lot of bandoliers, you can buy this in bulk um, and you can buy just the soft side. If you're gonna make bandoliers and blocks, you can buy them together and then just use the hard on the blocks, soft on the bandoliers. Um, and then finally, fur. So fur, he comes in all colors, types, styles. Um, it is kind of a pain to cut because the fur will get everywhere. So uh, I like to, if I'm gonna make a bunch of bandoliers, I like to have like a cutting day and just cut all of the fur at one time. Um, and so then it kind of minimizes the days that fur is flying everywhere in the house. Um, and when you're cutting fur, you kind of want to cut as close as you can to the backing and make small snips so you're not cutting through all of the long pieces of fiber um, and just cutting as, as small and close as you can to your backing so that you aren't getting as much fur everywhere. Um, and then as far as assembly, I like to sew my bandoliers. I think it's a lot sturdier and uh, I know a lot of people use hot glue and just glue them together. Um, I think this is a much better product. Um, and if it rains or if you're grabbing something real quick out of your bag of stuff, it's a lot more sturdy. Um, and again, it's gonna hold up better to the weight of a bunch of blocks. Um, and then when I sew mine, I like to sew mine with one long strip of Velcro all the way down the jute um, so that I can fit as many blocks as I want to. Um, it's, it's better for collectors if you want to be able to collect a lot of blocks. Um, some other folks will make them with kind of horizontal pieces of Velcro across the jute and it just kind of makes a space for each individual block. Um, the one thing about that is everybody kind of makes a lot of different kinds of blocks. Um, and so you can see from this finished one, you know, we've got some cassette tapes here. We've got this nice little resin cast one. Um, some of these blocks are small. Some of these blocks are big. Um, some are horizontal, some are vertical. Um, and like this one even has just like a little Velcro dot on the back. 
Um, so depending on how people make their individual blocks really um, changes up how many things you can fit on a bandolier when you're doing horizontal strips like this. Um, so this is my finished bandolier that I just made and sewed together. Um, when I have everything all together, I like to have my strips cut. Um, I usually cut my jute to around 32 inches. It's a good adult size that's kind of universal. On a bigger person, it might be a little snug. On a smaller person, it might be a little big, but it gives kind of enough room to go across your chest. Um, so I cut all my pieces of jute the same size, and then I cut all my pieces of fur pretty much the same size too, maybe with a couple extra inches. Um, so I can come up on the top, sew this together, sew my Velcro all the way down, come on the bottom and sew my bottom piece. Um, I like to make it where the squares kind of meet. So if you look at the top, the top just, come, the fur comes right over the jute, but at the bottom, I make the fur come across this way and the jute is kind of square. So it helps when you actually put it on and then you get this uh, little patch in the front where it kind of lays flat. Um, so that's pretty much my bandolier making 101. Um, when I'm putting everything together, I usually like to put one block on it already. So it's already ready as a throw for someone. And then I'll roll it up and put like a little rubber band around it so it's all tight and together and ready to go as a throw. So when someone unrolls it, they can put it on immediately and they already have one block on it. Um, again, there's a lot of different ways to do this. Other people, you know, might not want to do fur because it gets everywhere and it's a little messy. Um, if you wanted to use like a vegan leather or some other type of material, I mean, there's pretty much, you can do any variety of things. Um, the biggest, most important rule is hard on hard, soft on soft so that you're always making sure your blocks have the hard Velcro and your bandoliers have the soft Velcro so that no matter who's throwing it across the crew, everything will fit together well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and post some links for supplies and stuff that I've bought. Um, and let me know if there's other things you have questions about how to make a bandolier. If you have suggestions, make a comment, um, and let me know how you're doing. Thanks.